We learned the method of adding two and three digit numbers. But what if we have to add two and three digit numbers using the carryover method? Let's find the answer to this question in this lesson. One day, Babban was wandering in the forest and regretting how he lost all the three wishes he had got from the genie. Then he saw a hen there. But there was something special about this hen. She was sitting on a pile of golden eggs. There were a total of 23 golden eggs. Babban was very happy and he took the hen and all the golden eggs and went home happily. Babban fed the hen daily for a week. And in a week, the hen laid another 36 eggs. Babban is thinking, how many gold eggs he has now? Let us help him. To find the total number of gold eggs, we will add 36 to 23. Do you remember you learned in class 2 about how to write two-digit numbers using the method of tokens of tens and ones? We can write 23 and 36 using tokens like this. We will first add the ones tokens. Add 6 ones to 3 ones and we get how many ones? 9 ones. Now if we add 2 10 tokens and 3 10 tokens, how many do we get? Perfect! 5 of 10 tokens. Thus, Babban had a total of 59 gold eggs. Babban gave her more grain in the following week. And the hen gave him 128 gold eggs that week. Babban started dancing happily. He started thinking that he will now definitely become the richest man of the village. Let us see how many golden eggs in total Babban has. We will add 128 and 59. First, we will write 128 and 59 using tokens. Is this correct, children? We have a total of 17 tokens of 1s. Now, how do we write this? We can add 10 of 1s tokens and get 1 token of 10s. How many 1s tokens left? We have 7 1s tokens left. We will write this one tens token along with the rest of the tens tokens. We can show this by writing a 1 over 2. This process is called carry over. How many tens tokens do we have now? 8. Now what shall we do in the end? Yes, we would write 1 as the total number of tokens of 100. Oh wow! Babban now had a total of 187 gold eggs. Babban now started feeding his hen with fodder. And the hen kept giving him more golden eggs. After all, Babban became the richest man in the village. Children, in this lesson, we have learned the method of adding two and three digit numbers using the carryover method. In the next lesson, we will see some more interesting examples of this. Children, do you like the rainy season? Come, let us listen to a story of the rainy season in this lesson and see some interesting examples of addition of three digit numbers. One day, Tinku the grasshopper was walking around playing the violin. Suddenly, he saw a herd of ants and mice. The ants and mice were carrying pieces of some food items. There were 237 ants and 153 rats. Can you tell how many total animals were there in the herd? To find the total number of animals of the flock, we will add 153 to 237. What shall we do first? 
237 and 153 will be written using tokens. We have a total of 10 ones tokens. What can we do now? Yes, we will use carry over. Add 10 ones tokens and to make 1 tokens of 10s, we will write this 10 token along with the rest of the 10 tokens. And using the carry over process, we will show it by writing a 1 in the 10s digit place. Now we do not have any 1s token left. So how do we write it now? We will write a 0 for this. If we add all the numbers written in the 10 digit place, what will we get? 9. Now at the end, if we add all 100 digit place numbers, we will get 3. Thus, there were a total of 390 animals in the herd. Tinku asks the ants why they were working so hard. But the ants gave him no answer and started picking up their food items and walking faster. Tinku was shocked for a while, then slept comfortably in the shade of a tree. The next day, the grasshopper saw more ants and rats in the herd. Now there were 359 ants and 235 rats. Let us now see the total number of animals. Come, this time we should use this token without adding it. First, we will write 359 and 235 using the places of hundreds, tens and ones like this. Is this right? What shall we do now? We will add numbers written in place of ones. Add 9 and 5. And what do we get? 14. How do we write 14 using carryover? Alright, we will write 4 of the number 14 in the 1's place and then carry over 1 to the 10's place like this. Now, what is the total of the 10's place numbers? 1, 5 and 3. 9. Now, we will add the hundreds place numbers 3 and 2 and get 5. Oh wow! This time there were 594 animals in the herd. This time, Tinku asked the rat why they were collecting food. The rats continued to walk and told Tinku that the rainy season would be here soon and they will find it very difficult to find food in that season. So the ants and the rats were gathering food for the rainy season. <laughs> Tinku laughed at them and said that they were working so hard in vain. They should also dance like him and have fun. Saying this, Tinku went away playing his violin. The next morning, it started raining heavily. Tinku was very hungry and started wandering around in search of food. He then reached the house of the ants and mice. He apologized to the rat that he had learned the lesson of his carelessness. And he now knew that it is sensible to work hard. The rats gave him some food and everyone happily started enjoying the rainy season. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some interesting examples of addition of three-digit numbers. Children, 
Till now, we have learned about the addition of two and three digit numbers using the carryover method. In this lesson, we will look at some common mistakes related to it. Raju and Bablu are playing a unique game. Raju has hidden some puzzles for Bablu in the village. After solving each puzzle correctly, Bablu will reach the location of the next puzzle. There, he will find another puzzle. Once all the puzzles are solved, Bablu will find Raju's hidden object. Here is Bablu's first puzzle. Golu distributed 445 laddus to his friends on the first day and 227 laddus the next day. Golu has written the sum of the total laddus distributed here. Solve it and get your next puzzle. Is this addition correct? Yes, you have rightly found out that this addition is incorrect. Can you tell what went wrong here? Here, while writing addition of 5 ones and 7 ones as 12 ones, we forgot to write the carryover of 1. Can you write the addition correctly? We will write addition of 5 ones and 7 ones as 12 ones using carryover like this. Now, what is the sum of the carryover? 110 added to 4 tens and 210? 7 tens. Now, in the end, how many hundreds are there by adding 400 and 200? 600. Thus, the answer to Bablu's puzzle is 672 laddus. Bablu remembered that he saw the number 672 hanging at Appu Halwai's shop. He immediately ran to reach Appu's shop. Appu gave Bablu his second puzzle. This is Bablu's second puzzle. Babban got 159 toffees and Gaggu got only 34 toffees. The sum is written here to find the total number of toffees they have received. Is this addition correct? If not, write the correct sum and reach your last location. Bablu starts solving the puzzle. To get the total sum of chocolates, 159 and 34 is written like this. Is this addition correct? No? Can you correct the mistake and write the sum correctly? While writing 34 using the place value method, by mistake, 3 of 34 is written in place of hundreds instead of 10 and 4 is written in place of 10 instead of 1. Therefore, this addition is incorrect. Children, can you solve this addition by writing it correctly? Now, have we written this addition correctly? How many ones will we get by adding 9 ones and 4 ones? 13. Now, how do we write 13 1? Yes, for 13, you will write 3 in the ones position and carry over 1 to the tens place like this. Now, how much the total of carryover added as 110, 5 tens and 3 ten? 9. Because there is no number in the hundreds place in 34, we will write 1 in the hundredth place of 159 in the hundredth position in this way. Bablu also found the answer to the second puzzle which is 193 toffees. Bablu remembered he had seen this number at Chanda's shop and thought that it may be his last location. With this thought, Bablu went to Chanda's shop. 
On reaching there, Bablu saw that Raju had hidden a cake to celebrate his birthday. Look how happy Bablu looks. Children, in this lesson, we have seen some common mistakes related to the addition of two and three digit numbers.